Hey, um, this is Subi Fly here. It's been a while since I've done a video. I'm actually going to be doing an update review of the ThinkPad tablet Android, um, which I've done uh, a quick review on. Um, basically, they just received the ICS update. It's about time. It's been forever. And I've updated this morning. Um, <clears throat> now, do you see a big performance would be the questions yes I did see a huge difference in performance um, it's a lot more smoother I uh, haven't verified the GPS to be working properly however um, everything seems to run smooth overall let me just turn it on that's one thing I didn't like with this is that the glare sucks so bad you can see the lighting right above. But uh, just gonna go over with the video. Now it took about a good 15 minutes to update as long as you keep it plugged, um, uh, so it, you don't get that possibility of running out of battery. Um, so it went pretty smooth. Uh, you know, I've used the uh, the pen. Uh, it's a lot better. You can turn on as you can turn on an option called pen only, and I'll show that here. I'll show you that shortly. So here's the oh the glare sucks. Here's the how your uh, front uh, your thing works now, just like an ICS. You can either go camera right away or just unlock. And of course, I installed the SPB Shell 3D here. That's we're gonna go normal. So you notice one of the icons are different now too. This is the um, the ICS uh, uh, home screen or, or lower panels. Um, uh, I can install Google Chrome now uh, with a beta. And you notice the icons here are different too. The, the numbering um, and the battery. So they said, you know, a lot of people are saying batteries are, are about the same. Um, so far the battery is actually keeping up a good battery life but I haven't gone all day and in, in, in see those changes so let's look at the first thing of what it looks like to get to your option am I pressing that oh there you go so here's the option so you notice that there's a pen only so if you're doing uh, if you take notes or whatever there's a pen only so the whole layout is a lot different um, everything else it looks to, uh, you know the same settings with any ICS um, so let's take a look at the pen uh, notes mobile that usually comes with the software so I've taken notes um, when you actually open up a note um, It actually gives you an option if you want to um, turn off. Well, not, probably not anymore because I, I I told it not to remind me. But when you're write, writing and you're writing, usually it gets see that little mark right there. It's from my palm. So the best thing to do is probably go to your options. All right, I'm just not seeing it here. And just turn on pen only so that you can actually uh, do better with. Um, you know, taking the notes and without better palm rejection. Um, the layout of this notes mobile is a lot cleaner than the than the original one. Um, so far, I haven't seen you know uh, any significant changes except the looks. Um, the buttons are still working. Um, I do have the keyboard folio that I'm hoping that uh, I'm going to test out and see if it's actually going to work. Um, people are saying, especially from the UK, they were having issues with it um, uh, not working properly. So other than that, um, performance has gone a lot better, um, way, way better from the original, uh, uh, the two, the honeycomb. So now it's on uh, 4.0.3. Um, yeah so there it is so it's nice um, I don't know what else I also wanted to add um, for those of you who's wanting to see the difference um, 
this is still running the honeycomb as you can see the icons in the bottom um, and here it is the ICS uh, so it's it's about the same but overall when you're doing multitasking the ICS is actually a lot more smoother um, and so um, you know I'll continue messing with it um, and if you have any questions uh, again just post a comment um, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.